Welcome to Hard Questions, where we gather pastors together to take on your tough questions and answer them right from the Word of God. I'm Tom McGuff, the moderator, and today our panelists include... Dr. William R. Glaze, Bethany Baptist Church in Pittsburgh. Pastor Chris Gibbs of the Mars area. Pete Giacalone, Rainbow Temple Assembly of God Church, McKeesport, Pennsylvania. J. Anthony Gilbert, pastor of Another Level in Mount Washington. Gentlemen, welcome. Well, Sharon emailed and she asked, why is the Bible written specifically to men? In almost every reference, it's to uh, that, that male figure. Why would that be? It's quiet in here. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I, you know, Women I, are listening. <laughs> right. You know, you, when you look at the- Go uh, before us, so oh, great right, one. <laughs> right, right, I'll take the hit for you guys. Uh, you know, when you look at the uh, times in which the Bible was written, Basically, it was a male dominated right. society. Right. Right. And I think because it was a male dominated society, because right. if you if you even look in the New Testament church, you know, women were treated as second class citizens, yes. you know, that they weren't, you know, uh, able to learn. You know, that's that's why, you know, it says to ask your husbands at, at home. home. And, and I'm not saying that any of that was right. You know, I'm not saying that that was doctrine, but that's just the way that it was. And, and so I think that, you know, what we are seeing is that is written in a culture of a male dominated society. Yeah, and I think, I think that's important to understand. So there are universal truths and there are, there are contextual, mm -hmm. contextual truths. Now, there are things when it talks to men, it's actually talking to men. But I, I think a lot of times it's talking to both, but it's right, using exactly. men. It, that is, there, there is a, uh, a truth that transcends uh, that. And so you look at that. Now, uh, it also talks about the Bible. In Christ, there is neither this, 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 Jew, this, or this, Gentile, okay? Yeah. And neither male nor female. Right. It's not bringing gender neutrality in the sense of this fluidity that we see in our culture mm -hmm. now. Right. But what it is saying is that there is no second class right. when it exactly. comes into Christ. Right. And I think well, it's, a, you know, it's just masculine dominant writing. You know, I think yeah. about even like someone, if they have a ship, they'll say she was a good ship. Right. Why don't they say he was a good ship? Mm -hmm. You know, I think a lot of ways too, when they were writing, I don't know if it was directly just written just two men, no, it was, yeah. but right. it, the reality was is that it was written in that type of literature, they used the male pronouns uh, as a way to describe everything. They wrote it in that specific way, but it was meant for everybody. But like I said, even nowadays, I mean, you know, if you have a ship or something like that, you know, they'll say, boy, she was a great ship. They don't ever say he was, right. but it's just the way that they were speaking in those times as well. And there's, okay. there's even a movement today that they want to uh, take out the referring to God as he, as she, I think that's just going a little overboard, uh, like you guys are all saying. It was just, it was the culture of that day. Right. And, and, and you know, they, they said, you know, well, not they said, but, you know, when Christ came along, right. that, you know, that those stereotypes and that, you know, that male dominance, that, you know, that was a part of Christ's ministry, that he broke right. down a lot of that yes, uh, he when did. he came. Yeah. Because he even had, you know, ladies that traveled with him. Right. And, and, and so, so some looked at him kind of strange because, you know, he had, he had ladies a part, of his, a part of his group. So, you know, even though, you know, there was those, you know, even like the, 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 the language being dominated by right. a male, the culture, you know, it was never God's intention. That was something that man had uh, corrupted because, you know, is, as the scripture says, you know, that Chris pointed out that we're all one in Christ. Well, Bill, playing off of that, Sharon, in her question, she, she recognized and acknowledged the context mm -hmm. of the period uh, and, and, and that was male writers. But how, how, what do we say to a woman now? Uh, about how the Bible is relevant and significant yeah. and speaks if I, if specifically. I, if I can say something even before that, but let me just say this, because I think with, it, with, the cult, with, with the way it was written towards men, and I would still say this is true today, if men would rise up and be the men that God has called them to be, then they would lead. And I know that is, like, well, no, women should lead the same as men. I'm sorry, the Bible doesn't support that. Uh, there is great value for a woman, great value. The yes. Bible uh, speaks mm -hmm. to that Amen. without a doubt. But here's yeah. the thing. We have to look at men and knowing that God created Adam to lead his family. That's right. where they failed. Eve may have bit the fruit, but Adam failed his family by not leading. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so men need to rise up and be the men that they've been called to be. But women have to be the women of God that they've been called to be. And the Bible speaks to that great value. And, and never lose mm -hmm. sight of what Timothy tells us. All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for teaching, for re rebuke, for correction. So to, 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 to say that the word of God is off because of, of the way it's viewed today, we can't go there, Tom. All scripture is given 
All scripture is profitable. All scripture is needed. It's the living word. It's the right. living word. Right. And, and even it's if, eternal. If you look at John 1, 12, it says, but as many as received him to them gave he the power to become the sons of God. Right. Well, you know, so does that mean that it's just men that can yeah. be saved? Right. So, I mean, you know, like from a common sense standpoint, there you that's, go. that's telling you that it's talking to everybody. So that yeah. word, even though it, the word there is sons, it's, you know, it's, it's generically used to refer to, you know, the whole human race. Because that so, was the context at that right. time that they understood. Right. 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 And if you also look at it too, when uh, you know they're writing about God and they refer to him as a he, right? But God doesn't have a sexual anatomy, there right? You exactly. You know what I mean? So the right. reality is, is that I mean, even in that I issue there, I mean, it's not like God is a man, even though the Bible says he's not a man that he should, should lie, lie. <laughs> and but they, they, you know something along that line. But you know the reality is, is that God is a spirit, and we all have to look at men and women and all the above that we're all equal. And that in the eyes of God, spiritually speaking, we all still walk in authority. We all still walk in power and women are not second class citizens. Right. Yeah, I think, I think it's important what that you just made is the fact that, you know, God doesn't necessarily have a gender. Yeah. You know, that, you know, I mean, we refer to him in the masculine. Right. Yeah. But, you know, if, if we were to look, you know, God is God is not a male. You know, God is not a female. God, he's he's God. Although Jesus yeah. does refer to him as father. Uh, and yeah. so, I mean, there, right. there, there, right. there's, there's that. But I think the thing that we need to be careful about, uh, which we're all saying the same thing, is that let not the church become divided. Because there Satan go, wants to come in and bring there division you, between men and women over who's more important. And our importance and our value is found when we value him, when we exalt him, when we worship him. You know, I know but I just said him, didn't I? I, I? I know we don't have time for this question, but this would be a great question. When we go to heaven, will there be neutrality amongst men and women in regards to how men have authority now? Mm. But will women have authority over men? Next or, time well, on they, Hard Questions. Yeah, that's what I said. I don't know we don't have right now. Just, just a great thought. Great yeah. thought. Great well, thought. For God so loved the world, Amen. and he gave his only begotten son so that whoso Ever, you know, whatsoever. Ever. And you know what? I can't help but think of something my mom always used to say, the hand that rocks the cradle rules the world. Mm. Praise be to God. Yeah. We Amen. thank God for you, dear women of God. Well, send your questions to us at hardquestions at ctvn.org or call 1-888-665-4483. And now back to real life.